We're going to talk about distance and displacement with Beyonce and Donald Glover. So if you guys remember, uh, to figure out distance, the total length of all the paths traveled, you add up all the sides of the path that someone traveled. So for example, if this family travels four meters to the east and then turns, and travels three three meters to the north, then you add this four to this three. That's the total length traveled, all the paths traveled, and you get seven meters, and that's their distance. Distance doesn't include a direction. It's called a scalar because it doesn't include a direction. So you just give that number, seven meters with no direction. Displacement is the difference between the starting point and the ending point, and it does include direction. So if this family started down here by the tree to the left and ended up at the house on the right side of the page, then the displacement is a direct line from the starting point to the ending point, this red line we see here. And it includes direction. So this red line right here, you have to figure out using Pythagorean theorem. And we'll do an example of this later. But once you use Pythagorean theorem, you should get five meters here. And what's missing is the direction. So if you're using a standard compass where north is pointing up, east is pointing to the right, the direction would be northeast here because the arrow, the tip of the arrow is pointing northeast. I don't have an example where you can see the compass on the page. Okay, so in the next example, Beyonce is, this is similar to a couple that you have on your assignment. Beyonce walks east for five miles, then she walks west for two miles, and then west again for three miles. So here's our beautiful Beyonce cartoon, and here she is walking east five miles, west two miles, west again three miles. Her distance is all the paths she traveled added together. So we have that five added to that two and added to that three. So her total distance should be five plus three plus two, 10 miles. Her displacement is a different story. So again, she's still traveling east five miles, west two miles, west three miles. But the displacement is the direct path between where she started and where she ended and the length of that path. She started exactly where she ended. This trips people up a little bit because they're like, well, what's the difference? It's zero, it's nothing. The difference between where she started and where she ended is zero miles. Anytime you start exactly where you ended, you end exactly where you started, displacement is going to be zero. Okay, another example. If I'm going too fast, pause it, watch it again, uh, take some time to digest it before moving on. So Donald Glover walks north 3.5 miles, and then he walks south two miles. What's his distance? So again, if he's going up 3.5 miles, north 3.5 miles, then south two miles, you add all the paths he traveled. You add the 3.5 and the two, and you get 5.5 miles when you add them together. That's his distance. And remember, distance is a scalar, which means it does not include direction. Now we wanna find his displacement. So he's doing the same thing. He's going north 3.5 miles, and then south two miles. We knew his distance, you added them together, and you got 5.5 miles. His displacement is the difference between where you start and where you end. So Donald Glover's starting point was down at the bottom of the page, and his ending point was somewhere in the middle. So we're going to draw a direct line from start to end. That's your vector. And this vector points in the direction it's going. So it points to the end, and then the direction that your displacement is in is the direction that the arrow is pointing in. So you always draw your vector directly from start to end. And so if we went from start to end, it's pointing up, which is north according to the compass that we're using. 
If you look to the right of the screen, my cursor is going around the compass. So he's traveling north. You figure out the length of this by taking one path minus the other if they're going in opposite directions. So if both arrows are going in the same direction, you add them. If they're going in opposite directions, you subtract them. So you take the 3.5 minus the 2. That leaves you with 1.5 miles. That's the length from start to end. And it's north because it's pointing up towards the north. Okay, next example. If you needed that one more time or if I went too fast, pause right now, watch it again before moving on. So Beyonce walks north for three miles and then she walks east for four miles. You wanna figure out her distance. So here's Beyonce walking north and then east. And her distance is again the length of all the paths traveled added together. So if you take three plus four, you're gonna get her distance is seven miles. That's the total path she traveled, all the lengths added together. Now we wanna figure out her displacement. So again, displacement is the difference between where she started and where she ended. So here's Beyonce again going north, and then going east, she went north three miles, east four miles. This is the same scenario as last time, except we're finding displacement instead of distance. So the displacement, you want to draw a direct line from start to end point. So there's her start point, there's her end point. This dotted line here is her displacement. The direction the arrow points in is the direction of the displacement. And again, it always points towards the ending point. So it's between north and east, so we know her direction is northeast. To find the number that comes before the word northeast, we have to use Pythagorean theorem here. So if the arrows are going in the same direction, you add them. If the arrows are going in opposite directions, like one up, one down, you subtract them. Here, they're neither. They're at a 90 degree angle to one another. So you need to use Pythagorean theorem. So if you guys remember, Pythagorean theorem is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. You can only use this for right triangles, which means triangles that have a 90 degree angle. This triangle here has a 90 degree angle up top, left, top left corner. A and b are the sides directly adjacent to, which means directly beside the right angle. So here's the right angle, A and B are the three and the four. It doesn't matter which one you put in for A and which one you put in for B. So we put in three and four for A and B. C is what's called the hypotenuse of the triangle. It's the longest side, it's the side directly across from the right angle. So our right angle, which is our 90 degree angle, is here where my cursor is pointing. So directly across from it, we have this long dotted line, which is the displacement, which is the hypotenuse, which is what goes in for C in our equation. So we say three, instead of A squared plus B squared equals C squared, we put in three and four for A and B, and C is what we're trying to find, this diagonal line the displacement. So three squared plus four squared equals c squared. This little two squaring a number means you multiply it by itself. So three squared is three times three. Four squared is four times four. So we get nine because three times three is nine plus 16 because four times four is 16. That's what the little two means. You multiply whatever number comes before the little two by itself. So nine plus 16 equals C squared. Nine plus 16 is 25. That equals C squared. Now we want C, not C squared, because the length of the displacement is whatever the length of C is. So to get rid of this little two, we have to do whatever the opposite of squaring is. The opposite of squaring something is taking the square root. Taking the square root tells you what number times itself equals the number you're taking the square root of. 
So by taking the square root of 25, I'm saying what times itself equals 25? By taking the square root of c squared, I'm asking what times itself equals c squared? So five times five equals 25. That's why five is the square root of 25. C times C equals C squared. That's why C is the square root of C squared. So our C is five. That means our displacement is five miles. And again, it was northeast because the tip of the arrow, which is going from start to end, pointing towards the end, is between north and east. So that's Beyonce's displacement. If you need more practice with Pythagorean theorem, contact me. We can uh, video conference and I can give you more problems. So Beyonce and Donald Glover are on their way to the set of Lion King. And they're going to be walking together five blocks east, then two blocks north, then five blocks east again. This looks a little complicated, finding their displacement. But remember, displacement is direct, a direct line, most direct straight line from start to end. So here they are. That's the path they travel. Here's where they started. Here's where they ended. Now, to figure out the line from where they started to end it, just draw literally a direct straight line from start to end. Now, it looks kind of tricky figuring out the length of this line, but you can use a few tri tricks to figure out, to turn this into a triangle and make this dotted line the hypotenuse. So think for a second about how you could turn this dotted line into the hypotenuse of a triangle. So this five blocks up here is the same length down here. So you can just move that down. So you, and then this two blocks here is the same length as it is further to the right. So now we just made a triangle by moving our lines over a little bit. So the one side of the triangle is five plus five, and the other side of the triangle is two. And our right angle is on the right side at the bottom. So if we have five and five at the bottom and two on the top, these are our sides of the triangle. So five plus five is 10, that's either A or B. And then two is the other one, either A or B. And displacement is C, what we're looking for. So again, we just use A squared plus B squared equals C squared. We just had to do a little bit of manipulation there. So 10, because this side of the triangle is five plus five, which is 10. The other side of the triangle is two. Remember A and B are the sides of the triangle that are directly touching the right angle, the 90 degree angle. So the two, the side that's two and the side that's 10 are directly touching the 90 degree angle. They're adjacent to it. C is the side that's directly across from the right angle. C is the displacement. So 10 squared, which is 10 times 10, is 100. 2 squared, this little 2 means you square something. Squaring something means multiplying it by itself. So 2 times 2 equals 4. So 100 plus 2, I'm sorry, 100 plus 4 equals c squared. So 104 equals c squared. If you take the square root of both sides, because remember, to solve an equation, you have to do the same thing to both sides, and you have to do the opposite of what's been done. So the opposite of squaring is taking the square root. If you take the square root of c squared, you get c. If you take the square root of 104, you get 10.2. So our displacement is 10.2 miles, because that was the side of the triangle that we call c. And the direction is between north and east because the point of the arrow pointing towards the end point is between north and east. So 10.2 miles northeast. You have about two problems like this on your quiz. So if you get stuck, go back, watch this problem. If I went too fast, slow it down. And if you still have questions, contact me. We'll video conference and I'll walk you through it.
again. Okay, so, so again, some rules for adding vectors. Remember, displacement is a vector, so you wanna add the arrows that show the direction you're going in and the length. So if the arrows are in the same direction, you add them. If there's an op they're in opposite directions, you subtract them. And if they're at 90 degree angles to one another, you use Pythagorean theorem, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. A and B are sides of the triangle that are touching the 90 degree angle. C is the longest side, the one that is directly across from the 90 degree angle, not touching it. 